What is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a three wide receiver passing concept that I think you're going to absolutely fall in love with. And this is a two wide receiver to the short side, but it's actually going to incorporate three receiving threats, if you will. And uh, this is honestly probably one of my top two or three passing concepts in Madden this year. I think this is one of the most effective ways that you can just get easy yardage against really any defense. And so basically what we're going to do is this is a curl post drag concept now if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button down below um, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel um, and, and like i said we're going over a three wide receiver route this is a preview of our route encyclopedia uh, for madden 22 what i wanted to do first before i did anything else this year is i wanted to share with you guys a really effective way to train for a new Madden. And what that is, is by going back to the basics, by going back to the concepts and by going back and understanding, okay, this is the core principles. These are the core concepts from all sorts of different looks, all sorts of different formations. And this is how I could apply that to Madden 22, to Madden 23, to Madden 24, and so on and so forth. So if you want to get it, um, it's a 15 buck, uh, $15 guide. It's in the description. And what this guide does is, like I said, it teaches concepts. So we talk about two wide receiver concepts, three wide receiver concepts, four wide receiver concepts, short side concepts, wide side concepts, spread concepts, compression concepts, all of those things that you need to make up an effective route tree, an effective route uh, encyclopedia and passing concepts. Those are all broken down in this guide for you. So you can apply this to any formation in the game, any playbook in the game, and with any skill set in the game. So if you're a beginner player, this is great for you. If you're an advanced player, um, this is also a really good uh, piece of material for you. So if you want to get access to it, it's down in the description. There's going to be a link down below. And like I said, it is just 15 bucks one time, and we continue to update it throughout the course of Madden's to come. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over, like I said, the curl post, um, curl post hitch concept. Um, this is a this is one of my favorite uh, concepts. It's honestly probably one of my top three or four of all time. Okay, and you can do this out of anything really. You don't have to have anything special uh, to do this. If you have Hot Rod Master, it's really easy to do this. Um, and so I'm just going to do this out of um, I'm just going to do this out of the empty tray stack because I think it'll be easier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use um, a play. I'm just going to look for a play that has a post route. So as you see here, um, levels is another one that you could do this from. I'm going to do it from curl switch. Um, and you, like I said, you can do it from anything. So anyways, or actually, you know what? I'm going to do it from, uh, oh, I can't do it from that formation. Okay. So curl switch is a, is a great one because I don't have to make any adjustments. Um, but basically all it is is having a post and a curl and then having a, um, having a drag underneath it. Okay. Now you can obviously hot route this, but I love this for this for several reasons. The post is going to get wide open against man, but what happens is against Mabel coverage, this X receiver, um, is oftentimes going to get wide open on the sideline, just like that. Let me show it to you again. And let me give you a little bit more of a definitive look at this. And this is a great way for you to be able to deal with it when your opponent is running a lot of Mabel coverage, specifically with seam flats, because what you're going to see is this curl is going to hold them in the middle of the field just like so and it's going to leave a lot of room for you to be able to throw this drag over the formation so we like to do this with two wide receivers to the short side of the field they don't have to be stacked so let me give you another way that you can run this this is really good for um especially if you have hot route master and mutt or you're playing with the bucks and regs or whatever this is a great way to do this so what we're going to do is we're going to put evans on a post we're gonna put Howard on a drag and we're gonna put Godwin on a curl, just like this right here. And then, you know, you can do whatever you want with the backside players. I, I think one of the better formation or things to do is to run something like a zig or something like a hitch. Um, to me is the best way to run this concept. Anyway, all that to say, if you watch this, what you're gonna see is this seam flat is going to rise and it's gonna stop or it's gonna like basically be held by the curl route and that's gonna allow me to throw the drag route. Let me show you that one more time. And again, it doesn't matter if that route is in compression or if it's out, or not my compression, I mean, but it doesn't matter if that route's on the numbers or if it's outside. So for example, if I leave that receiver 
God went like this and maybe I snap him in motion, it's not going to matter. You're going to see that seam flat is still going to get held up and I'm still going to be able to throw this on the sideline for about 10 to 15 yards. Now, another thing that you can do with this concept that I really like and why I really love this, um, especially if you're facing someone that's going to be changing their zones up, maybe doing some different adjustments, this is a great one to run and a great concept because if they don't use seam flats, let's say it's like for a second, you see curl flat right here, see how it's still going to hold that curl and I'm still going to be able to hit um, Howard underneath. Now there's some other situations that might arise where they might do something like, you know, maybe a vertical hook here, um, you know, and then basically take this guy and man him up on the drag to try to really take away the drag route. They're not going to have enough receivers. They're not going to earn uh, defenders. I apologize. They're not going to have enough defenders to be able to all fully be able to adjust to this. And so what you're going to see here is the curl route is now going to become open once they take away the crossing route. If they bump their flats down or their curl flats down to five yards and they play real underneath coverage, they're not going to be able to stop this concept, um, which is one of the reasons why I like this because this is literally good against blitz. It's good against coverage. It's good against man zone. It's one of my favorite concepts of all time just because of the raw spacing that you're going to get out of it. If you see a man coverage look, you can leave these receivers compressed and stacked up. It's just going to continue to help that separation. And as you can see, your drag route is consistently getting open against the coverage that they're putting on the field. If your opponent runs something like a cover two style defense and they really try to come underneath and play a little bit more underneath type of coverage on you, you're going to still find a lot of consistency with this post curl hitch concept or um, post curl and then you could even do a backside hitch like I'm doing here. But look at just the spacing that you get. As you can see here, your curl is open, and you can take that against any defense. This is also a very good play uh, to use. I'm going to back out of here and grab another covered shell. This is a really good play to use against cover four quarters. So I'm just going to reset all this stuff back to default, and I'm going to come out in 335 wide, uh, cover four, show two. And I'm going to show you two other specific things that you can do with this uh, with this concept. So the first one is against cover four quarters. So let's say that you're running uh, cover four quarters and you do it and you run this basic concept right here. What you're going to see is this post route um, is going to have an opportunity to be one on one over the top. Now right here, the player actually did a really good job of kind of coming uh, with the coming with him. Part of that's because of where uh, or, or because I accidentally reset that curl. So if I leave that curl kind of flowing outside just like so, you see here, I also have my drag route or crossing route wide open to the tight end and cover four quarters. Cover four quarters, very unlikely um, to be able to stop that route combination. Uh, then the backside where I get more of what I originally wanted, which is this post, you're gonna see that this post route to Mike Evans, whenever I get that slot post, you can do this out of curl flat. You can do this out of a lot of different things. Um, you can do this out of curl flat from trip side in, as well as a lot of other things as well. But what you're going to see happen here is as this route develops, you should see that this triangle receiver late in this play is going to absolutely torch match coverage over the middle of the field. And what we've been able to do is we've been able to basically create a lot of separation, a lot of space, and a lot of isolation for that post route. And so what's going to happen is their user is going to have to go guard the post route. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave this high low on the left now as a wide open read. For example, you can hit your curl route or you can hit your drag route uh, just like I did right there. Okay, so that is one of the real beauties of this is you can also, like I said, just basically snap this in motion. It's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this formation because of how consistent that drag route is with that curl. That curl really is gonna hold the zones and allow you to throw underneath it. Now, another coverage that I wanted to go over with you really quickly here uh, is just a basic cover three. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and spy the, the D line just because I don't want the, the, the blitz to mess up this, this uh, route combo. But I just wanna show you if they're doing default zone drops, meaning they don't have any zone drops set, when you run this motion curl, you should see, you see that um, you're gonna have, and again, I, I messed up on my read there, but you're, you're still gonna have this high low um, function between these routes. So 
Um, let me give you a, a better example of what I was trying to show you there. And I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to run hard flat. So a hard flat is going to do a really good job of stopping a drag route. Okay, so you're going to see that OJ Howard on this plate is going to get stopped by the hard flat. But again, we've created this high low. So you see hard flat goes out there and I can low ball that curl in behind it. And honestly, that's really rare that they're going to play that coverage and they're going to do that to you out of this formation. But in the, in the event that they do it, now you're prepared um, and, and understand the right routes. Like I said, this little motioned out curl is so effective from this formation because it gets in such a unique position, but um, especially for, uh, for non-zone drop coverages like what we had showed you. I showed you man coverage, I showed you Tampa 2, I've showed you cover 4 show 2 as well. Um, the one thing I didn't show out of this was this cover 4 show 2 on this basically this stock setup. The one thing that I would tell you on this if you want this to be successful against a stock setup is because these players are stacked they're kind of interchangeable. So um, for example if I wanted to I could take this uh, triangle receiver put him on a curl. I could take Howard and put him on a drag. And then, and then now I'm really isolating this post. And what you're going to see here is it's just isolated. If it's not open, I can always check down to the curl route against that coverage. So that is my uh, uh, curl, post, drag, three wide receiver concept to the short side of the field. It's one of my favorite ones in the entire game. I would encourage you to try it out. And if you want to learn more of these route concepts, see, I can apply this to anything. You'll see here, if I audible... If I audible out of this or just go grab another formation, you're going to see that I can do the same basic thing. So it's the same basic concept, and that's really what I'm getting at with this with this material um, for you guys in this video is this is all conceptually based. So, for example, if I come out in doubles, I can run the same concept. This right here is exactly what I was talking about. I've got curl, I've got po or um, I've got curl, post, and then I've got drag to the tight end. And so you'll see here, it's going to work exactly the same. You see the curl or the um, the post beating match match coverage. You're going to see the, the curl route because it's a short side curl route combined with a drag route. So your spacing is really solid. You're going to see that that square, or uh, whoops, I hit the wrong button on mistake. I meant to hit the tight end button. Um, you're going to see you're going to have that high low between the curl and the drag. And then what I like about that post is it's just, it's, and this is a really good play out of like U-trips, for example. This is one of my favorite concepts out of U-trips. But what you'll see is this drag route is oftentimes going to be your, your route that you're going to hit. It's very consistent against pretty much every coverage in the game. So anyways, thanks for watching this. If you want to get my entire route concept encyclopedia and learn all of my route concepts, either from the wide side or the short side, from spread formations or, for, from, or from compression formations, as well as from trips or quads formations, to you know, two by two or single back uh, formations. You can get all of that material in the description of this video. And just remember that that offensive guide, we've got a ton of concepts in there, but we're also adding those concepts in, new concepts that we're learning each week. We're, learn we're adding those into that guide for you guys throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. So thanks for your support. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna get that material, it is down in the description.